Welcome my beautiful Canva designers. On our last tutorial, we did this cross. But you know me, I have to step it up a little bit and do a little extra, and I turned it into a bow. So today on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do these crossbows. So the first thing we want to do is we want to head over and get a text box. So I'm just going to grab one. If you know me, I'm going to do my name. All caps. And then I'm going to go pick a font. I like Anton for this, but you can choose whatever one you want to use. I'm going to use Anton. I'm going to make it bigger so we can see and work on it. I'm going to get that little box out the way. And then if you've got a font that's kind of close, you want to go up to the T up here and you want to take your letter spacing and space it out just a smidge more. You, because you want to have room when you cross to have that area in there. So now that I got it where I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one to white. It's going to disappear. White. And then I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to outline. I'm going to change that to black. And then I'm going to take the thickness down to about four. So you can type it in here if you want to. Put four and enter. Maybe I'll do it at five. And you're going to just as thick as you want to. Maybe I want to do a little bit of a thicker one. 18? Yeah, let's try 18 today. I'm still experimenting with this, y'all. So y'all experimenting with me. All right, so now that I have that, what I want to do is make sure the interior is white. And I'm going to go and change the background color to a pale gray. So now I have this. So I'm going to go File, Download, PNG, Current Page, Done, and Download. Now, while that's downloading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that outline off and put none, and I'm going to change this back to black. Now I have my base word. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to bring the PNG that we just made right back in. I'm going to get rid of some of this extra area here, and I'm going to change this back to my background back to white so I can see. See, now i got that gray background. So I'm going to take the background remover, and I'm going to take the background remover and remove that. Okay, and I'm going to check because Canva's background remover is being a little sketchy. So I've got that little blob there, so I'm going to go and take my brush and very gently try to get rid of that blob that's right there. Let me go out and see how bad that looks. Okay, that looks good. So now that i got that blob out of there, what I want to do is head over to my apps. I'm going to put in SKU. S-K-E-W. And it says skew image. It's going to look like a little piece of candy on a purple uh, square. So what you want to do with your skew is you want to have the horizontal at zero. And the vertical, I'm doing these at 20. The ones I did before was at 25. I want a little less skew on these. So I'm going to do these at 20. So zero for horizontal and 20 for vertical. Now I'm going to add to design. I'm going to move this one over to the side. I'm going to click my flat flat one right here again. I'm going to go into the vertical. I'm going to click the little thing, the little box right here, and I'm going to put negative 20. Enter. And that's going to give me the opposite direction. So I'm going to get there, and I'm going to click that. Now, I don't need this one anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Now what I want to do, because I want to be able to work on this, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to shorten them up like so. And then I'm going to try to size these to match my other one. So what you want to do here is I kind of put it here and I just keep going until the E's kind of match. So I want to go a little bit further with this one. Okay, I got that one where I want it, and then I'm going to do the same with this one. Let me put this. I'm going to go in here. Where's my layer? Layer. Bring to front. That way I can see. I'm going to kind of get that corner there and make this bigger. Let me take some of that extra off, and I'm going to keep making it bigger. That is too big. 
and then I'm just going to try to size it up so it's kind of the size of the ones that I'm already using. And then that E kind of goes here. And we can kind of play with that a little bit afterwards too. So now that I got them where I want to, you can do a simple cross, which I'm going to go in my positions tab, go layers, and go like this. We have, oh, uh, let's see, one in the front, one in the back. So I kind of like that too. And then I'm going to line this one up like so. And then you can have a cross like this. And we get that E. We want that E looking like it's, see how that E almost looks like a book? So you can do a cross like that. Or we're going to do the other kind of cross. So what we want to do for that is we're going to go, we're going to put this one off for the moment. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to line it back over top. I'm going to take one and go halfway here. And then I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to click that and crop it the halfway the other way. I'm going to need an H. Okay, and now i got my regular cross. So I've got that one cross going this way. So if you look here, the front part is above your main line. So we're going to call the main line your black text right here. So you're going to have the front part, the MIC, above, and the ELL below. So that's how you're going to line those up right there. So now we're going to do the other one. So I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to line it up where I want right here. Make this look like a little book. Then I want to duplicate it. Line it up. What I'm going to do, like the last time, I'm going to go and I'm going to crop one. I'm going to crop the H. And then I'm going to take the whole one. Where's my whole one? Here we go. And I'm going to crop that back in. Like so. And then on this one, I want to take the MIC, I'm going to take that, see it's at the top, and I'm going to drag it behind my word, my main one. So there you go. You got that little butterfly thing going on. So I'm going to look at it, and then I'm going to give it a quick once over. I think that's uneven, so what I want to do here is I'm going to move that up to make it more even, because that was off a little bit. And it kind of makes sure that alignment looks good there and there. And once I'm satisfied with what I want, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go into Edit, Shadows, Outline. I'm going to change it to my background color, which is white. And then I'm how thick you want it. So I'm going to take that down some and just make it like a thin outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab my little roller up here. And I'm going to click on this and format it. So that'll give me that format. I think I want that line a little bit thinner. Let's go a little bit thinner on that. Okay, let's try that. And then I'm going to click that and I'm going to click my other front piece. So now they should match. They should have the exact same thing if I go. So if you look at this one, it says 11. This one says 11. So I love the little paintbrush thingy up here. When I There's a style that I like just to copy the style to the next uh, piece awesome for shadows if you want to do shadows. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go file, download, PNG. We're going to get the current page and we're going to download. So let's bring this back over. Let's get us a new little color. Let's uh, choose this one and we're going to bring it back in. We're going to wait for it to upload and then we're going to remove the background. We're going to go and check and make sure everything looks okay. You know, the background remover has been a little funny. So it looks good in here. You have some little black right here because that's that part of the C, but that's okay. That's what you want because that's, that's part of that C. So now everything looks good. Now we can do some extra little fun things if you want to, or you can just keep it the way it is. And uh, as in the previous video, I showed you, you can go and edit. We can go into Duotone. Um, say, so here's a little trick too. Say you want a certain color. Uh, Duotone doesn't have uh, the little dots or anything like that. So say I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to man manipulate this color. Let's say I want to have it like this color. 
and that's the color I want my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the code right here. I'm going to copy this. Let's change my background to white for a minute so we can see it. And then I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into duotone. I'm going to custom. I'm going to click the first dot and I'm going to paste that code in there. And then I'm going to go to the second dot and paste that code in there and for the second dot. And see now I have that color. All right, let's move around because I see a little blank spot that I do not like. There it goes. So now that's a cheat way to get a color if you don't have it. Um, because with Duotone, as you can see, when we go into Duotone and you go to push a color, all you have is this. So that's a cheat way to get the color that you want if instead of trying to use that slider and try to figure out how close it is. So that's a cheat way that I use for that. Okay, so let's change this background color to like something light. Uh, and let's change this to, let's change it back to Duotone. All right, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to get a little wonky here. Black and black. And then move it around because wait for that little dot to disappear. See right there? See? And there it goes. Crazy, right? So now I want to do another little trick. I'm going to, let's duplicate that real quick so you can do two little tricks. So the first trick I want to do is make it kind of look like a sticker. So I'm going to go into shadows. I'm going to go into outline. Oops, that's not the one I want to do, but let's go grab that one since it wants to do that one. So I want to change this to white to make it look like a sticker. So I'm going to take that up like that and then I'm going to take my size until it fills all the way in because remember you have hollow here so that's why you're, if, you're, if you do it low like that you can do something like that that kind of looks like a dual if you want to do that or you can do it like that and fill it all the way in make it kind of look like a sticker I kind of think that's a cool little idea to have and on this one we can do like a drop shadow um, I always pull the distance in for stuff like this because I think too far is not cool. But I just want a little bit. And sometimes I'll turn the intensity up to make it a little bit harsher. And kind of get some... If you notice there, it kind of looks like some depth to it. And let me do one of my uh, tricks that I like to do too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sticker one. And then I'm going to take this one and put it on top. Hold on. Position... For some reason, I like to use the Positions tab. We're experimenting right here, y'all. So I'm going to put that and then put that on top like that. And kind of line it up on top. Let's see if we can line it up. I'm going to hold down my Control key so I can have a little bit more preciseness when I'm doing that. Give it a little 3D action there. That's just me playing around. If you know me, I'm going to play around. And then I'm going to take that and move it. And then I'm going to pull that distance in just a little bit more. And then, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm playing. It's, if you know me, that's what I do. I play. So that kind of makes it a cool little 3D looking thing. I don't know. Just playing around with, with y'all and seeing kind of thing but that's like some things you can do with it of course y'all are beautiful talented canva designers and y'all can do amazing things and i'm just going to give you the base and y'all make the beauty and i am michelle thank you so much for stopping by i love you guys and i hope to see you on the next one bye y'all